My name is James Moriarty. I'm the head team physician at the University of Notre Dame and a consultant for Axon Sports. Very simply put, a concussion is an alteration in brain function. It is a disturbance that's usually temporary. The brain quits working normally. Most commonly, it depends on what area the brain is affected, whether it's areas that govern such things as thinking, speech, vision, uh, or any of the connecting pathways that interact with one another. The most common things that you might see would be symptoms of headache. They might seem dazed or confused. You might not be able to have them answer questions the way you think is appropriate. Uh, they may exhibit symptoms of amnesia. They might not remember having eaten breakfast that morning or they might not remember how they got hurt. Uh, they may stumble. They may not be able to remain in a standing position without moving. Many of those types of things are common manifestations. There is a variable length of, of recovery time. We like to say that 80 to 85 percent of athletes will resolve their concussion in seven to ten days and for the most part that's true. There are though a percentage, a small percentage, ten percent, that will take longer than that and they can take as long as three weeks to three months. Time is probably the, the most important ally that you have on your side to rehabilitate a concussion. The first thing that happens is that many of the symptoms that you had when you experienced the concussion begin to lessen. For example, you won't have as many headaches, you may be not as confused, your memory will return. Your sensitivity to light and sound may become better. You won't feel as emotional or irritable. Your sleep will improve. Your appetite will improve. Those are the types of things that we look for in terms of improvement. Things that can interfere with that would be increasing exercise activity, first and foremost. Many times when you begin exercising again and you raise your blood pressure and your pulse rate, many times that can exacerbate the symptoms and return them. It is important not to return an athlete to competition who still has impaired brain function. One of the risks that can happen is that they may sustain further injury to the brain, which may be more permanent. The second reason we don't want athletes to return with impaired brain function is for the very rare but real entity called second impact syndrome. Second impact syndrome is a very serious complication in an athlete who has had a previous concussion who is then re-injured. In that particular case, there can be very massive brain swelling that occurs that can impair the very life of the athlete. 